Hi there, students. Have you ever heard the adjective wishy-washy? Okay, this means something that is thin, without taste, without strength, very watery. So you could say this soup is very wishy-washy, it's very liquid. But more normally we use wishy-washy to either describe people or to describe a plan or a plan of action or a policy. So this guy always makes very wishy-washy decisions. He's a very wishy-washy person. It means he's weak, spineless. He doesn't stand up for himself. Very namby-pamby. That's a good phrase as well. Okay? Someone without spirit. Okay? So... If somebody is wishy-washy, they don't impose their will upon people or a situation. They just let things happen. Okay? So, what's the origin of this? Well, washy is a word which means very liquid, watery, weak. Yeah? This mashed potato is very washy. I think they put too much milk in it. It's very thin, without strength. And the wishy is just um, amplifying the word washy. It sounds like washy, and it's got a good ring to it. And they use the phrase wishy-washy, without strength, spineless. Somebody who's lacking in character, lacking in strength. They're irresolute. Yeah, They don't decide... I'm going to do this. They're always wavering between one side of a decision, or one way, and another way. And they can't make up their mind. Okay? So, wishy-washy. You could even have a noun, wishy-washiness. Lacking in strength of character. Ineffective or ineffectual. Yeah? A person who's not decisive. Without strength of character. Okay? So, very often, maybe, politicians take wishy-washy decisions because they don't want to upset the voters, yeah? S decisions that lack character, that lack strength, yeah? Most normally, as I said, we use it to describe people's characters or their courses of action. But you can use it to describe food and other things as well. This beer is very thin. It's very wishy-washy. It has very little flavour and it has very little strength. It's very wishy-washy. Okay, so it's a reduplication. Wishy-washy. They're just two words that go together that sound really, really good. It's just repeating. Wishy is just repeating the washy. Notice as well, something on another uh, note, um, wishy-washy is also normally one of the characters in the pantomime Aladdin. Okay, a pantomime is a funny play. And wishy-washy, or Dame wishy-washy, is normally a man dressed up as a woman who works in the laundry. I don't know the origin of that. Maybe you could tell me. Okay, so... I hope that this video is not too wishy-washy. It has a direct and clear meaning. I hope it's not insipid. Okay? So, wishy-washy. Yeah? It's fairly informal. Yeah? Maybe a 4 out of 10 on a formality scale. 10 being the most formal. Okay? So, don't make wishy-washy decisions. Make decisive decisions. Yeah? Have a direction in your life. Don't be wishy-washy about where you're going. Okay? So, maybe a new phrase for you. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.